1999, the world was prepping for the end. It was called Y2K. My grandfather turned his basement into a bunker, complete with the absolute necessities, including a lifetime supply of garbanzo beans. Y2K turned out to be nothing except for the next 10 years. Our Christmas stockings were stuffed with beans. I'll never eat a garbanzo again. While it's easy to mock grandpa, I've stockpiled my own necessities to help me feel secure. A strong marriage, a decent paycheck, a cup of coffee in the morning. These are the things that hold my life together, right? Jesus has a different idea of what I need. In John 15, walking through a vineyard with his disciples, Jesus likens himself to the grape-laden vines around them. I'm the vine, he says, the source of life. You are the branches. Remain in me and you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. We don't like absolutes in our culture, yet Jesus leaves no room for doubt. The deepest desires of our hearts to be loved and to love and to make a lasting impact on the world are only possible through connecting to Jesus. Connection with Christ isn't something we can store up for a rainy day. We need to remain in Him. Without Him, I'll notice myself crankier, angrier, less able to believe the best in others. I'll emphasize my looks or what people think about me to give me satisfaction. Connection to Him is always available to His children because we have the Holy Spirit within us. He is our guide, giving us the power to live the life Jesus promised us through constant dependence on Him. So when I find that I've left Jesus to find my own sources of life, I simply confess, telling Jesus, I'm sorry. And I return to dependence on him. Through his word, the encouragement of fellow believers, and by talking with him, I'm able to experience the joy and peace that comes from remaining in him. Right now, if we're not connected to Jesus, life is not what it could be. So let's toss out our stockpiles and let Jesus provide absolutely.